Welcome back to my channel, everybody. And on today's special episode, we are making shrimp and pork egg rolls. Like, so delicious, so scrumptious, and we are only one week away from Super Bowl. Welcome to Kevin's Kitchen. Let's get started. So we've got our ingredients here. We've got our pork, our shrimp, got a little coleslaw mix, beautiful egg roll wrappers, and all of our herbs and spices and seasonings here, minced garlic or garlic powder, ginger, sesame oil, uh, dipping sauces, rice wine vinegar, a little low sodium soy sauce, and a little ponzu sauce. Let's go. We're gonna start off by uh, seasoning our pork. So we're gonna open that up from the package and just put it in our mixing bowl. I hope everybody's been doing well, staying safe and getting ready for the big game day, however you choose to get ready for it. And per usual, all of the exact measurements are gonna be in the description box below. So feel free to click that down and look at it. Got about two tablespoons of the soy sauce. Equal parts, the ponzu sauce. It's got a beautiful citrus note to it. Um, I really love this sauce. It's relatively new to my pantry, but I, I what I've had of it so far, I really thoroughly enjoy. And I had to open the rice wine vinegar. I apologize for that delay. A little sesame oil, square everything off nicely. Bring such an earthiness to this dish. I love the smell of sesame oil. That's it for the first batch of seasonings. Get your utensils and get to mixing. Mix it all up. Mix your pork really well. You really want to make sure you get every little morsel of this uh, protein really ingrained and enriched with this uh, sauce. Now you don't just want to jump in here and start eating this right away but it smells like you really could because it's so fragrant. So so fragrant. All right, we're gonna brown our pork on medium high heat. Now this dish, I chose pork and shrimp. You could have just done shrimp, or you could do beef, you could do chicken, you can do turkey, whatever you're feeling. If there's a vegetarian option for you, you can just do a veggie egg roll, just all the, the cabbage and uh, things from the slaw that you wanted, but I like to eat the meat, so you know. Feel free to modify it for your palate and do what you like to do. Get every little bit in there. This is like a pound of ground pork. I should have used two bags of uh, the prepared slaw or cabbage, but I didn't. Oh well, next time. <laughs> so get in and once your uh, meat starts to brown, then we're gonna add in our ginger and our garlic. About a tablespoon of each. Feel free to add a little more if you like. You want to give that a nice mix and work it over really well while your meat finishes its browning process. Mix it up real good, mix it up real good. Feeling kind of silly today, y'all. <laughs> uh, but I have missed y'all. I've been having a lot of fun with this um, game day playlist. I'm looking forward to uh, my next playlist, which is going to be the Valentine's Day. If you found these videos beneficial to you at all, please hit the subscribe button, turn on your notification bell so you don't miss a video. And feel free to give this video a like. Right. 
couple more moments here and the browning will be done. Man, it smells so good. In your same pan, you're gonna go ahead and sweat out your cabbage for about two minutes total. You still want it to have a nice little crunch to it. You know, you can add in your sesame oil, about a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half. And then maybe a little salt, just a little bit. Right now we'll give her a lovely little mix until we see it start to sweat down and reduce. Looking at it now, when you do coleslaws and like greens or leafy vegetables, they always release their juices and then they reduce down by half in size. I definitely should have used two bags of uh, slaw for these egg rolls. But next time, the more you know, it's your kitchen. Do what you do. All right, we're gonna pour all this on top of each other and give it a beautiful, healthy mix. Get it well incorporated so what? Them flavors can know once another. <laughs> or know one another if you wanna be technical. Yeah, see, even my lower third degree with me. Yeah, get in there, get a good mix. It's very, very hot right now, so you definitely do not want to use this right away. Uh, you're going to cover it uh, with aluminum foil or plastic wrap and you'll let it sit in your refrigerator to chill for about an hour or so. Of course, I had to sneak a fork test off camera and this was amazing. This would be a really good side dish. I could see putting it in lettuce cups or, um, you know, different types of wraps. I actually used it with some uh, leftover sticky rice that I had made, and I can definitely see me adding that to my meal prep throughout the week uh, from time to time just to change up my flavors. Now you're going to crack an egg into a little ramekin and beat it like it stole some. <laughs> uh, you're going to use this as your, your binding agent for your egg roll, but a cornstarch slurry or basic water will work um, to seal that as well. All right, now we are going to get our roll on. Egg rolls are a lot of fun, um, a little labor intensive. And sometimes what, whatever it is that you're putting in your egg rolls might not want to stay in your egg rolls. So you have to kind of balance that out. Um, using a technique a friend of mine told me just to use your fingers to uh, line the, uh, the egg roll wrapper. Not really a fan of this because I don't like to feel raw eggs in my fingers, but you know, whatever. I tried it their way, then I tried it my way. Spoiler alert. My way wins every time. All right, and we're gonna spoon in a couple of spoonfuls of your pork mixture. You definitely don't want to overfill your egg rolls, but I like a hearty egg roll. I don't want something small like a spring roll or whatever. Um, so just be very cautious. I was just about to stuff this thing to capacity. <laughs> but you know, you live and you learn. You top it off with a little shrimp. These shrimp are uncooked at the moment because you don't want to overcook them. And once you fry your egg roll, it'll be more than enough time for your shrimp to come to temperature. You'll fold this over and make sort of a uh, envelope shape, if you will. Get in there, and fold it over. Pinch, pinch, pinch. Hey, shrimp, get back. Roll it up. Not that kind of rolling, y'all. This is a family show. 
don't forget to hit that subscribe button. All right, after I give it a little look-see, that one was okay, we'll try again. It's sealed, it's just not pretty. Try it their way one more time. hands off and we get the scooping so who are you all rooting for in, in the big game let me know down in the comments below you know my Ravens didn't quite make it this year so I don't care who wins well I guess since I live in Florida I have to pull for the box huh Go team. <laughs> but seriously, let me know who you're pulling for down in the comments below. Topped off with two shrimp this time. Figured three might have been too much. I just want to make sure that you get a little bit of everything in each bite. There we go. That's a nice fold. Okay. Right. Here we go. Still not the prettiest thing in the world, but it'll do. Now we're gonna do this my way. Little basting brush. You know, happy little strokes. Sound like Bob Ross. Been toying around with the idea of uh, going live for you guys. Let me know what you think about that. I decided to go with the shrimp down first so that the pork mixture will have a base to stand on. Right? Genius! I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You know, am I right? You know I am. Look at that, just sits up there beautifully. Perfect, not overstuffed, we are good to go. Plant that down, a little seal. Yeah, baby. Roll it up tight. That's what I'm talking about. There are many different methods to use, so definitely feel free uh, for whatever one works best for you. Let's get to frying. Look at them babies. <laughs> Got our oil. Turn that fire on high. Always test your oil before you dip your anything that you're frying in there. You wanna make sure that you get it high enough in temperature so you can regulate it and cut it down when need be if it gets too hot. All right, we gotta be careful when you place your egg rolls in, drop them in low, slow, and away from yo. <laughs> now when it comes to egg rolls, um, they fry so quickly that you don't want to stray too far away from your pan. And I recommend, uh, as you see, mine weren't completely submerged. They were still floating a little bit. So I flip them or turn them every 30 seconds, maybe a little overkill, but I really wanted a rich golden brown uh, color on these, a nice crust on the outside, and you don't want them to burn. So I wanted to make sure that I gave them a flip 
and I made way too much, so of course I had to freeze some. And these will keep for up to three months, so just remember that. Look at that golden brown goodness. Yes! Feed me! Feed me, Seema! <laughs> Little Shop of Horrors, 1984-ish. Look it up. Look at that. If you found this video beneficial to you at all, please hit the subscribe button. It really helps out my channel. I appreciate you. Of course, you know we had to get it together. Hit it with some food grass, a little spring onion. My dipping sauce was actually a uh, sweet and sour, uh, sweet Thai chili, sorry, mixed with sriracha. A little sweet heat. Look at them babies. Pork and shrimp egg rolls. Look at that. Just, I couldn't even wait, take the time to do a proper uh, bite. I was hungry as a hostage and I just had to, to dig in. It was just, ooh, the face says it all. Lord, I'm gonna eat all of this. I can't even continue to speak, so I'm going to see y'all next week. Enjoy your game day.